how to create a forum in WordPress. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to build a community, offer support to your users, or create a place for like-minded people to connect, then creating a forum might be exactly what you need. In this video, I'll walk you through on how you can create a fully functional forum using WordPress step-by-step -step, with no coding required. Whether you're a complete beginner or someone with a little WordPress experience, this tutorial is for you. Now before we get started, all of the mentioned tools are on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. Now let's quickly talk about what WordPress actually is. WordPress is the world's most popular content management platform or system. It's used by over 40% of all websites online. It's completely free, open source, and incredibly flexible with thousands of themes and plugins available for you and you can use WordPress to build anything from blogs and business websites to full-blown e-commerce sites and yes, you can even build a community forum. So if you're ready to bring your audience together, let's get started building your own forum. So first things first, let's head over to your WordPress dashboard right here. You can just log in your account and simply once inside, we are going to use a plugin in order to basically create our own forum. Now a plugin is basically like an application that we can install to make things easier here on WordPress. So for example, if we want to go ahead and design something, I'll just install this specific application in order for that application to design my introduction for example and more. But in this case, we are going to use an application to basically create forums. In here, inside the plugins category, you just want to search for plugins or forums. Right after that, you then have a lot of applications or plugins to choose from. But the best plugins right here that you can go ahead and use will be the W Foro Forum. Now with this one, they have over, I believe it's over 2,000 or 20,000 installs, 20,000 per month. And inside they have a lot of good ratings. So you simply want to go ahead and use this plugin right here. Now, this is a free plugin to install if you are using a business plan. So you can just navigate through this page and click on the install button right here. Right after installing the plugin, it will simply go ahead and look something like this. To create your forum, you want to navigate through your plugin right here. You will then go ahead and see it beside your dashboard. It will simply look something like this. Just click on it and click on the forum section. Right after, it will simply look something like this. So you can just navigate through this page and once inside, click on the add or create new button. You can see that by clicking on the plus icon. From there, we will be able to choose our template. So in here, we have something like simplified, threaded, extended, and more. So for example, if you're creating a help forum, you probably want to pick a VQA layout, which is the question answer layout. Now on the right hand side of the forum, there will be the permissions section right here but we will navigate through that later. First things first, let's go ahead and navigate through the forum creation right here. To go ahead and create your forum, you want to start with entering the forum title on your WordPress plugin right here. So for example, if you want your forum to be titled as help with my WordPress website, you can just insert that here. And below that, you then have the description of your said forum. Below you then have the forum slug. Basically, the slug is the URL friendly version of the name. It is usually all lowercase and contains only letters, numbers, and hyphens. And below that you then have the forum icon, which will then go ahead and look something like this. This is going to be the icon of your forum. So for example, if you're asking about something about time, you can select the time icon right here. If you're asking about someone on cloud topic, you can then select the cloud forum right here. Or if you're asking someone about code, you then want to choose 
the code icon. And so you just want to select the forum icon that is appropriate on your title right here. And below that, you then have the meta description. This is basically the forum SEO description. Now SEO means search engine optimization. Now with this one, you basically want to go ahead and search SEO because this is a really important topic. If you have writers or if you want to use AI, you can just go ahead and do so in order to maximize your SEO or the search engine optimization. And let's navigate back to the access right here below the or at the size of the creation page you will be able to see the forum permissions now with the first one you have your admin for the second one you have moderators you have registers guests and customers and so if you want to basically edit their permissions or access you then want to click on the button right here in order to do so and right after you will be able to simply edit out their access inside that said forum it will simply look something like this so for example if you want the admin to have full access over your forum you can just select full access right here once again it will then go ahead and look something like this no access read only access standard access moderator access for the next one we have the monitor access so there's a specific category for the moderator access you can just select that access for registered you have the standard access which includes some deletions maybe on that said forum now for guests you have the read only access they will go ahead and basically only read the forums right here and for the registered ones that basically sign up to the wordpress they will be able to comment on that said forum or delete some comments on the forum and lastly for customers they have standard access below that you then have the additional options this is basically only the forum caller so you can just select whatever you want to be the caller of your forum right here and right after that there will be the publish button above the forum permissions right here and you will be able to simply publish your forum inside your wordpress website and so guys, that's how easy it is to simply create a forum inside your WordPress website. Now, if we navigate through the W40 forum right here, all you have to do is to click on the download or in the install button in order to basically get the plugin into your WordPress website. Your forum will go ahead and look something like this. As you can see, it's a slick and intuitive design on the W40 forum application. If this video has been helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and follow us for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.